Hey, good morning, folks. Yeah, it's regular day. It's like, a regular day. Like 10. Okay. okay. <laughs> good morning. Welcome to our morning conversation. There we go. Good to see y'all. Uh, happy Thursday, December the 7th. Good to be with you on here. Good to see y'all. Uh, hope you had a good evening. We had a great time last night. If you missed it, uh, it was a, it was a fantastic evening. We went to uh, Orlando Center Point Community Church in Nazarene and watched the presentation called "From Saint to Santa." And uh, it was a it was a fun evening. Uh, good to fellowship with other people and and be out and about. And so yeah. So good to be here. Um, I've changed views again. That sun is a little bit. So we have our. Yeah, let me change this really quick. Roll those up. I mean, twist it. There we go. Let's do that. Ah, magic. There we go. So now we get this little little Christmas, right? A little Christmas in the background. So Tuesday, I'll turn it on. You can see the kitchen. No. <laughs> no. <Tuesday. laughs> Just the the, the 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 bar, the bar. Uh, don't worry, I took all the, the the Angela's beverages off the bar, so you won't have to worry to see that stuff. So, why? <laughs> okay. All right, let's do some jokes. Uh, hey, did you hear that David Hasselhoff has started to refer to himself as just the Hoff? It's less of a hassle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a that was a funny one right there. Son, put some clothes on. All right. Um, next, do you know? My dad used to say to me, "When one door closes, another one will open." He always had these great little comments, but he was a terrible cabinet maker. <laughs> She's getting ice. Ice in the Stanley Cup. You know, every time she gets ice in the Stanley Cup, it takes like six hours for an ice maker to replenish all that they take. I don't know. On the other side. What's the difference between a What's the difference between a camera and a sock? A camera takes photos. A sock takes five toes. Okay, that, was <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> oh. Went into a went into a bakery. Asked the lady if I could if I could buy a bagel with cream cheese. She said, "No, we only take cash." <laughs> That is something I would actually do. You're right. Okay. Oh, you want your milk in a bag? No. No, I'll just leave it in the jug. <laughs> they never know how to react to that. They never know. One day you got a big eye roll. I did get. I did. That was funny. She was not appreciative. No, she wasn't. Okay. Time for devotional. Um. So yesterday, yesterday Tuesday... Tuesday, we talked about um, how we, you know, we need to uh, we need to kind of just trust in God, trust in Jesus, especially uh, when we can't do it anymore. Um, and so, so here we are now today. Let me just double check this. Am I am I even on? I don't think we're even on. Check your thing. You can see me? Okay, all right. It must be just my end. Okay. Um, all right. This thing scared me for a second. Um, today I want to talk just quickly about being overloaded. Oh, hi. You want to come up and see? Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? All right, there's, there's every. Say hi, everybody. This is Pepper. If you haven't met her yet. She's a bad girl. Yeah. Go sit with Bimple. Nope. All right. Um, talking about being overloaded. 
Now, uh, one of the things we do as a staff is we, you know, we, we calendar regularly. We go through that, make sure all the uh, all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed, and and going through all that stuff. Um, but sometimes we get away from that at home. We don't we don't do that often here. Are you doing it right there? My fingers. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is a double. Yeah. Ooh, a double espresso. Mm. A little hot. A little hot. Ooh, that's good. Um, and and what happens is, what we try to do is is we try to um, take control of too many things. We try to manage too many things. Um, we do it all the time. In fact, people do this all the time without even realizing it. Um, even when we don't try to, subconsciously inside of us. Um, we think it all depends on us. We think if, if we don't do it, it's not going to work, right? We have to hold everything together. We have to be the ones to make it all happen, to make it all work. Um, or maybe that's just me. I don't. Maybe that's just me, but maybe I'm just talking to myself today. But the greater our internal need is to control things, the greater that need is, uh, the more overloaded, the more stressed, and, and honestly, the more empty you're going to feel in life the more empty you're going to feel. And this is a lesson that, that I am, am learning, and I think that we all probably need to learn at some point, is, is uh, we have to learn to give up control. We have to learn to give up control. See, part of the reason we came to Jesus was we realized in our, in our journey, we realized what we need most is him. And we needed him to have control of our lives. We needed him to be, uh, to be the one calling the shots. But at some point in our journey, I think all of us, at one point or another, we like to take back control. And to follow up on, on, on Tuesday's scripture, and I'm just going to throw that back up on the screen. Um, again, it's, the, it's, not the, it's not the whole passage, just the reference. Um, but if you want to look it up, it's Matthew eleven twenty nine 29 to 30. And it reads this way, and I'm going to read it out of the NIV this morning. I did, I did the Common English last Tuesday. Today I'm going to read it out of the NIV says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. See, when we get, when we get fed up, when we get too stressed, when we get too overloaded, that's when it's time, it's, it's a trigger, right? It's a, it, we know, okay, it's time to, to give up control again. Now, I want to talk about a word for a second. Yoke. Lily, do you know what a yoke is? Something inside of an egg. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. No, the, that's a yolk. Y-O-L-K. Uh, what, what we're seeing here in Scripture, a yoke, Y-O-K-E, a yoke is not the middle of an egg, but it's this wooden frame. It's this wooden frame that you put over two animals so they can pull a piece of uh, equipment, a wagon, farming equipment, whatever. And, and, and it's, it, it, it looks big and cumbersome, but actually when that yoke is attached correctly, uh, it allows these animals to pull far more weight than what we could as if we just had a rope around them, right? Um, and so when we, when we already feel like we're carrying a, a heavy load, Taking on another yoke, or especially what Jesus says, take on Jesus' yoke, may sound like even more of a burden. Why would you want to even burden yourself even more? But again, like I said, the purpose of a yoke, the, actually how it operates, it's to lighten the load. It's to take off <laughs> stress. It's to take off extra weight. See, sharing a yoke, which oftentimes a yoke is shared by two, Sharing that yoke means you're sharing the load that you're carrying. So it's designed to make what you're carrying even lighter, and now you're sharing it. And so it makes your yoke, it makes your, your, your heaviness, that stuff that you carry around, so much lighter. When you're not yoked to Jesus, when we're not connected to him, we can easily kind of take off at a, at a pace that's too fast and we can burn out too quickly 
We can take off uh, and, and even wander in a bad direction and end up getting stuck in a ditch somewhere. But, but when we're yoked to him, when we're connected to him, he takes off the weight. He takes off the stress. And he does not let us veer off course. He's not going to let us wander off and fall into a ditch. See, a yoke makes it lighter. A yoke keeps you from getting into trouble. I have another passage of scripture for you. Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. And it says this, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. See, we keep in step with the Spirit by staying yoked to Jesus. By staying connected. By staying tied to Him. When we partner with him, when we let him into our space, when we let him help lighten the load and carry the burden, things are just so much better. See, Jesus was, Jesus was never in a hurry to get anywhere. I, I don't find anywhere in scripture where he was running. Jesus was never in a hurry to get anywhere. And, and I don't think we need to be either, especially if we're going to be connected to him, right? Well, that's all I got for you this morning. Hope you're off to a good start. Um, hope you're having a good Thursday so far. Uh, here's what's happening uh, the rest of this this week. Uh, so Thursday, uh, today, um, uh, we'll be in the office. We'll be getting some things done. I'll be helping uh, kind of uh, adjust a few tables. Angel's going to be giving me some direction on setup for the, the, the women's Christmas event, a cup of Christmas on Saturday morning. Uh, doors open at 9.30, yep. and the event starts at 10, so ladies, don't be late. There still are a few tickets left. Uh, they're $5. That's, that's super cheap, uh, uh, and there still are a few tickets left, so if you have friends or people that you would like to invite and bring with you, that is still available, um, so do not hesitate to do that. Um, so Saturday, uh, doors open 9.30, event begins at 10, and then... Saturday evening is the Kissimmee Festival of Lights Parade, and you don't want to miss it. Uh, Don Boyle is heading up that for us. Uh, they're still putting some finishing touches on the float. If you want to help out with that, reach out to Don Boyle. If you don't have his contact info, uh, reach out to me or, or, or the office. Uh, we'll make sure you get that. And then... Put on your walking shoes because Saturday night we're going to need help walking the parade route, giving away, uh, giving away ten thousand candy canes. So we need you. All right, guys. Um, looking forward to a great time together, and then join us again Sunday. Uh, and wear your ugly Christmas sweaters or your ugly T-shirts or whatever you want. I'll turn the air down a little bit more so it's not so stifling hot if we wear a sweater. This is Florida, by the way. Um, so looking forward to being together and uh, seeing you all. And, and Judy, we will miss you. I know you're going to be there in spirit. We will miss you. Have fun in, in that cold, chilly Michigan uh, while we're here in, in uh, balmy central Florida. So, um, but Good to be with you. I hope you're off to a good start. That bad puppy's over there again. All right, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate you. If you need anything, reach out to us. Uh, let us know, and we will see y'all again real soon. All right? Remember, if you have an opportunity to, which I'm sure that you will at some point, uh, find an opportunity to be a blessing because he's always a blessing to us. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.